direct, 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 direct from the LAF Pet Rescue Studios. You're listening to the Todd Newton Show Ladies and gentlemen. with Maria Todd. ToddNewtonOnline.com is where you can connect with us and partake in these conversations which we throw out across the airwaves to you, friends. And uh, we appreciate all of your input. You, you remember the uh, young lady that said she was on a date with the guy who had a credit card that gave him cash back for every transaction. So when they went to that drugstore or whatever, he bought like three <laughs> or four items and did each one as a different transaction. Oh, my God. So he would get... Uh, we got a follow-up to that in our emails about self-checkout, which... I, I look self checkout is here to stay. I mean, I know that stores mm-hmm. are. Um, you can tell that stores suffer a lot of theft with those self checkouts because now, if you go to Target or Walmart and you use the self checkout lane, there are cameras and screens everywhere. Everywhere, you ain't gonna get away with it. Um, Plus, there's some employee giving you the side eye the whole time. Isn't that uncomfortable? You're right about that. Like they're giving you the side eye like they know you're stealing something. We just can't see it. Well, and they, at least at Walmart, they're holding something. Like they can see, they've got like a, it looks like a little Palm Pilot type deal. If you remember those, they they can see yeah. um, how many items you've scanned, I guess. And I think that they're kind of looking. They're like, okay, he scanned six items. Why are there seven in the bag? You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So they're uh, they're definitely tightening up on that. A lot of shoppers are feeling like, you know, I'm doing all the work here and I'm still paying the markup prices that I was paying when I had to check out with a, with a human. And some right. some people think that they should get a discount because of the labor that they're helping to offset. Well, that, and then you bring your own recyclable bags. Yeah. Like, gosh, what are y'all doing? (laughs) Yeah. So you know that the store is saving money, obviously, because they're not having to pay someone 15, 16, 17 bucks an hour to work the register. That's a really good point. Maybe, you know, if, if, especially if it's during a crowded time at the store, if you go to self checkout, maybe you do get like a maybe a five percent discount or or whatever. But then the lines will be over there, and if you're willing longer over there, and if you're willing to pay five percent more, you can go to a human operated checkout. That's and kind get of interesting. Out. Yeah, I think they should do something like that. I think that's a good idea. I just don't. Yeah, you know, it's everything's becoming automated. Everything's on an app now, and nothing's getting cheaper except for Amazon. I feel mm-hmm. like things are cheaper on Amazon, but like DoorDash is ridiculous with their service charge, oh, and then they want you know tips and everything. There's a service fee. There's a customer and charge. they put tips on everything, even if you order takeout online that you're going to go pick up. Yeah, they still ask you for a tip at the end. And I'm like, what am I tipping you for? That's right. For doing your job. That's exactly. Yeah, I had to dry. I had to pay gas to get here and time and everything. I had to sit in the lot and wait for you to bring this food out. Man, and when then I, you didn't bring it outside to go in and get it. When I was 16, I was a pizza delivery guy. I mean, sometimes we got a tip. Sometimes we didn't. But there was no service fee. And, you know, it was. You deliver, you do a good job, maybe they'll tip you. Who knows? But yeah, I, I, and I felt. Go ahead. I don't know when, like, when it's good to tip like pizza guys, because like you tip them online. But then I always wonder, does the employer give you that money, or right. do they keep it? Right, right. I don't know. This is crazy. Self checkout. What do you think? Hit us up on our Facebook page. Should you get a little bit of a discount if you're the one that's doing all the work? These two are just getting started. Now all I see is you. Hang tight for more of the Todd Noon Show with Maria Todd. Welcome back to the Todd Noon Show with Maria Todd. Yeah! Now, here's Todd and Maria. We get uh, folks from time to time, whenever we talk about, you know, a tattoo traveler episode or a trip that, that you and I have been on, folks like to talk about their trips. And what breaks my heart, Maria, is when someone says they don't like to travel because of the hassle of airports and, you know, airlines running late and things like that. And, and I, my response to that is always an airport is a lot less stressful. If you give yourself an extra 45 minutes, that's the sweet spot. They they say, get there two hours early. If you get there two hours, 45 minutes early, 
you will experience little or no stress. You know what I mean? Right, because you can just take your time and find a parking space. Yes. You can take your time and walk through the terminal. Right, and if you take see your time a line. get ready for security. Right, if you see a line of check-in, it doesn't stress you out because you know yeah, you have plenty of time. Yeah, you're not freaked out. A lot of things. Another thing we hear a lot is, uh, oh, I, don't wanna, I don't want my luggage to get lost, you know. Uh, and to those people I say, you know, you realize that doesn't happen hardly ever anymore. That's a very... 1980s thing, lost luggage. Um, I, right. I, I read an article that only 0.003% of luggage ends up lost anymore. It may be late, but if, you, if you're on an app and you check a bag, you can track your bag. You can see when your bag has wow. been loaded onto the airplane. You can see when your bag has been removed from the airplane and on the way to the Carousel. It's like everything is computerized now. The barcodes and the scanning. It, it's not, you know, it's not human error. You know, the, the lady behind the counter or the guy behind the counter is not going to send your bag <clears throat> to Phoenix when you want it to go to Charlotte. That, that just doesn't happen anymore. But for the 0.003% of luggage that does end up lost, have you ever wondered what they do with it? I actually, yes, have wondered that. I, I, I have found out what they do with it. Would you like to? What? Okay. Yes, I would like to know. So now, again, modern technology has a 99.7% success rate of reuniting luggage with flyers. Okay. So if, you're, if your bag is late, you're going to get it. You're going to get your bag. All right. But for those rare pieces that do, quote, disappear... There is a store in Scottsboro, Alabama. It's about 150 miles northwest of Atlanta, Georgia, that is called Unclaimed Luggage. It's a store, Maria, and it's big. It's like 50,000 square feet, and all of this stuff, they have contracts with all the major airlines in the United States. All the stuff ends up there. Wow. And they even have a, a little museum of some of the greatest treasures that they found. And they've been around since 1970. This store has been there. Where is this place? Scottsboro, Arizona. No, Scottsboro, Alabama. About 150 Al That's miles. even more. Yeah, sorry if I said. Scottsboro, Alabama. Yeah, Scottsboro, we can't even Alabama. Find that. And bags will end up there if after three months they're not reunited with owners, which, you know, as the years go on, fewer and fewer pieces end up there. But designer yeah. clothes, electronics, home goods, I bet there's a lot of jewelry, sporting goods. Yeah. Mm. It's all people losing their skis and golf clubs. Uh huh. And it's kind of, it looks like it, it looks kind of like a goodwill. You know, some of the stuff gets yeah. donated, some of the stuff gets refurbished, and then the rest of the stuff, you know, they throw it on the shelves and they sit there till somebody passes through Scottsboro, Alabama on a little shopping spree. One more Todd and Maria. Connect with the show. Turn it up. Turn it up. By visiting ToddNewtonOnline.com.